Hello, I'm Tom Davis, and we're here at the GM Proving Ground in Milford, Michigan, where we not only test GM vehicles, but equally as important, the tires that they run on. Now, tires have been in the news lately, and some customers have expressed concern regarding the safety of their tires. We've made this short video simply to show you why we can have confidence in the tires you get when you buy a new GM vehicle, for several reasons. To begin with, all tires on GM cars and trucks are designed and specified according to our exclusive TPC system. TPC stands for Tire Performance Criteria, a system that precisely matches specific tire designs to specific GM vehicles. GM developed the TPC system more than 25 years ago and we have been refining it ever since. The GM approach to tires is unique. We have a completely separate, dedicated team called Tire Wheel Systems. It was formed in 1968 and for over 30 years this group has been refining its procedures and its testing. Its goal is to see that the tires allow your new GM vehicle to do what we designed it to do under real world conditions with the safety of you and your family in mind. To tell you about some of the procedures and safeguards that we have in place I'd like to turn to the director of our tire wheel systems group, a 31 year GM veteran, Brooke Lindbergh. Thank you, Tom. Before I give you an overview of how we at GM design, develop, and validate tire and wheel systems, let me specifically address two issues. First, regarding Firestone Wilderness AT tires that are provided as original equipment on a number of GM vehicles. These are not the same tires as those that have been recalled. They are not the same size or construction. These tires are engineered to meet GM's unique TPC specifications. Another difference is the tire pressure we recommend. You can see what we recommend by looking at the tire pressure label on your vehicle. Specifically for our full-size pickup and utility trucks, originally equipped with Firestone Wilderness LE or AT tires, you'll see on that label that we recommend you keep your tires inflated at 35 PSI in order to get the best handling, durability, fuel economy, comfort, and tread wear. Now let me give you a little background on some of the things we do to make sure that the tires on every GM car and truck delivers performance and safety under widely variable conditions. Perhaps the most important thing we do is establish and maintain a close working partnership with all of our tire manufacturers, Goodyear, Michelin, Continental General, and Bridgestone Firestone. Our engineers and their engineers work side by side to develop tires that meet our own GM specifications for ride, handling, durability, and fuel efficiency based on what our customers tell us they want in a vehicle. Once these specifications are set, the working relationship continues through design, building, and testing all facets involved in getting the right kind of tire for each vehicle and customer preference. Each tire supplier sends engineers out here to work with our engineers in our facility two days a week. Our engineers also meet with tire companies twice a year to verify the performance of the tires used on our products. We examined return tires to identify any potential problems. And also, we examine our warranty records every month to identify any emerging trends. During the entire process of developing a tire, from the initial concept to the final production phase, we subject our tires to a rigorous series of tests under a wide variety of loading and driving conditions based on real-world customer experience. In our lab, tires are tested extensively for uniformity to measure smooth road vibration. They're tested for rolling resistance, which influences fuel economy. Force and moment, which influences steering. And they're tested for load versus deflection, which influences the vehicle clearance and optimum inflation pressures. From the laboratory, we move to the proving ground road systems where all tires are tested and retested under various simulated loads on a variety of road conditions. Acceleration and braking performance, as well as stability and traction are evaluated. Responsiveness in turns and evasive maneuvers and numerous other driving situations are duplicated. One of the most severe tests GM requires is the accelerated tire endurance test. 
conducted under high desert heat conditions using special test vehicles that permit extreme loads, this grueling test measures the endurance of a tire. The test measures tire performance over its entire life with a range of loads, inflation pressures, and road temperatures on highway, track, and gravel surfaces. The ATE test also includes a shearography laboratory inspection to verify that the internal tire components are performing to specifications. We punish these tires, and when we're done, we punish them some more. There is, of course, some owner responsibility that you need to take for the safety of your tires. They're designed to maintain pressure for long periods of time, but you still need to check your tires at least once a month following the procedures described in your owner's manual. The recommended tire inflation pressures for each GM vehicle are shown on labels like these on either the driver's door jam or inside the trunk deck lid. Your owner's manual also has information about the TPC spec number you need when you replace your original tires. Tires are the only part of your car that come in direct contact with the roadway. Treat your tires the same way you treat the rest of your car. If they have a collision, safely pull over as soon as you can and inspect them to see if there's been major damage that might later lead to a failure. Obviously, you should never drive on a severely deflated tire. Here's an example of what can happen. At 70 miles per hour in this simulation on the dynamometer, we gradually deflate the tire pressure from its recommended level. When it's reduced to less than 5 psi, a sidewall failure occurs. In the event your tire hits something that causes an immediate blowout, you can still control the vehicle if you follow these steps. Immediately take your foot off the gas. Continue to steer the vehicle in as straight a line as possible, and then slowly and gently apply the brakes until the vehicle comes to a complete stop. Here's an example of these techniques during a simulated blowout that we do as part of our testing process. All of us at General Motors and our supplier partners are dedicated to providing you with safe, dependable tires on your vehicle. We want you to be fully informed so that you know how to take care of your tires so they can take care of you and your family. If you have any more questions about the tires on your GM vehicle or tire warranty, call this toll-free number or visit www.gmtiresafety.com. Thank you for watching. We want every part of your GM vehicle to exceed your expectations and really give you the safety and security that you want every time you take the wheel or ride as a passenger. And that's why we at General Motors stand behind every part of your car or truck, and that includes the tires.